All right, here we go. So again, um, what I want to do is I want to look at where we left off. All right. Um, so let's knock out number 11 real quick, okay? So again, tomorrow I'll do a better job. I'll look at your homework tomorrow to see how things are going. But again, I wanted everyone to give it a shot. Did anybody try this problem? Anybody think they got it right? What was it? So I got a 12. What? 12 and eight. 12 and eight. All right. So again, let's see how that played out. Find the dimension of a rectangle whose perimeter is 40. So if the perimeter is 40, the first thing I'd want everybody to do is I'd want you to write down that 40 is equal to 2L plus 2W. Is everybody okay with that? And then it says the area is 96. So 96 is equal to length times width. Those are the two things that everyone should be able to write that down. Now from there, all right, you have to recognize something. You want to recognize that this can be simplified. So I can divide it by what? Two. So let's go ahead and divide that by two. And so then we end up with the length plus the width must equal what? 20. All right, now again, this is a system of equations. All right, this is equation number one. This is equation number two. So what I wanna do is I wanna transform equation number one so I can substitute it in equation number two, which means I want to write that L is equal to what? What does L equal? Say that again. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm asking you to look at equation number one. The reason why we don't want to do number two is because we don't want division involved. We don't want to say the length is 96 divided by W. I don't want to do a division, all right? I want everybody to take a look at number one and I, I wish everybody would be able to just tell me that L is equal to what? 20 minus W. So when everybody write L equals 20 minus W. So now that we know L equals 20 minus W, I'm gonna come back over to the other equation, number two, and for L, I'm going to put what? You're gonna put 20 minus W. Come on, we can do that. So now we're gonna write 96 is equal to the length becomes 20 minus W times W. Now we had a problem on the last test where it was given to you in factored form, but it wasn't set equal to zero. So what did I have to do to these two things? What do I have to do to 20 minus W and W? Yes, you're gonna distribute that, thank you. So that'll give me 96, equals 20w minus w squared. Now it's a quadratic, so we can set it equal to zero. Now does everybody agree that w squared is negative, right? So wouldn't it be better to make it what? Positive. So I'm gonna add it over to the other side. So it's going to be w squared, then what? As I'm moving this over, minus 20w plus 96, because I didn't move the 96, now it's equal to what? Now it's equal to zero. All right, so that's the math involved. Now it's just a matter of factoring. So what does that factor to? 12 and eight, good job. All right, very good. W minus 12 and W minus eight. 
So W is equal to what? Eight. Right, 12 or W could equal what? Eight. Now I need to know the dimensions. So that means I got to figure out what L is. Well, we have our equation. So I'm just going to bring it down so I can show you. Now we have the length is 20 minus W. So if W is 12, then the length would have to be what? Eight. And if W is eight, the length would have to be what? 12. Are they the same answer? Yeah, same answer. Rectangle, the length and width are interchangeable completely. So the answer is just what? eight meters by 12 meters. And if you put 12 meters by eight meters, I'm okay with that. And some of you are like, well, I was smart enough to just guess and check my way through the problem. And you have to understand, I can make them harder, right? So you can't guess and check, right? Mm -hmm. I prefer to make the numbers easy, all right? Because I care about, do you understand this system right here? That's what you're trying to make sure that you can do. All right, anybody have any questions with that? All right, that's a really good, really tough question. All right, if you got that right, excellent. You'll probably make an A on the test. All right, here we go. Now number 12, we skip, so I'm gonna skip that one. We're gonna come back to that in a minute, all right? But I do wanna take a look at 13. I was a little upset with some people in the last class because they acted like they had no idea how to do this which means they think it's a word problem. And because it's a word problem, they can't do it. That has nothing to do with it. Right, Luca? Yeah. Nothing to do with it at all. The answer here for number 13 is obviously what? H. Somebody said H. Yes. Yes. Definitely not H. Somebody said J, confidently. All right. Now, because how do I find the area? You're just multiplying 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. Well, right off the bat, 2x times x is what? 2x squared. So I know immediately it's not f or g. So that's why I'm trying to help you with your uh, test taking skills. So some of you might be taking a standardized test here pretty soon, and this is a helpful thing. Now we also know negative one times positive two is what? Two. So we know it's not K. So I was right. Now we have to find the middle term, the smiley face that I've tried to tell you for the longest time. All right, this is what right here? One. And this is what? So negative one X plus four X is what? Three X. So the middle term is three X. Anybody have any questions with that's J? Again, if you got J, just pat yourself on the back. All right. That's why we're practicing. All right, let's take a look at 14. We're looking for a GCF. All right, someone tell me what the answer is. A. Somebody said A. Oscar, what do you think? Now, let's say we forgot what GCF is, all right, or factor. Is 240 a factor of 80? No. So right off the bat, you know it can't be D or E. So we didn't have to check about 16 because we know that's the answer. Now, x cubed and x squared means there's a common what? Right, so the answer has to be A. All right, the answer had to be A. All right, I don't think that's too hard for you. Yeah, there's a single Y, exactly. Either one, but I just did right in order. All right, now here we go with 15. We can say what? See number one. 
it's the same problem. All right, so we don't have to waste time on this, but it would have been if a number is added to its square, the result is 56. All right, same problem. All right, see number one. All right, now I want to scroll back to question number 12. All right. So originally a rectangle was twice as long as it is wide. So just for me, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And that was my original rectangle here. And which one's bigger, the length or the width? Width. The rectangle was twice as long. So if this is the width, this is the length. So if we wanted to now, we can leave it as W and 2W for length, but um, it's just totally up to you. When there's a direct relationship right off the bat, a lot of times I just like to put X and what? 2X, all right? But if you wanted to, you could just said the length is what? 2W, all right? Those are your options, all right? Those are your options. Everybody okay with that? Now it says, when five meters was subtracted from the length, all right, and three meters were subtracted from the width. So now what I have to do is I have to make a new rectangle that's smaller, right? So now the length is going to be what? No, the length is going to be what? Well, but I'm saying Jack, the length is 2w, right? When five meters is subtracted from the length, that means that it's 2w minus five. Do you agree with that? And then the width, what are we doing? That's correct, w minus three. Everybody okay with that? Now it says the resulting rectangle has an area of 55. So this area equals 55 meters squared. That's not bad, right? So now I need an equation for that. Someone's going to tell me an equation. Area is length times width. That is correct. So area equals length times width. So now what equation am I going to write? Area equals length times width, 2w minus 5. Uh, notice that parentheses w minus You're awesome. But what is the area actually, though? Right. So if we wanted to, we could just go ahead and say 55 is equal to 2w minus 5 and then w minus 3. Do you agree with that? All right, that's pretty hard, guys. Now, what do I have to do next? No, not yet. Well, subtracting 55 would make it equal to zero, but I have a one, yes. I have this little problem right here first. I need to do what to that? multiply it out so I can see the quadratic. So again, last class, someone told me they didn't know how to multiply that out. Needless to say, I was a little annoyed. We've done it a hundred times. If you still don't know, it's okay, but learn right now. All right, so 55 equals, equals multiply 2w times w, what's that? 2w squared. Now we're doing our smiley faces. How much is this guy? Negative five. How much is this guy? So all together. What? Wait, sorry, 
negative 11 w and now multiply what is that going to be plus 15 2 w squared minus 11 w plus 15. Now it's a quadratic, so I can do what? Make it equal to zero, so I'm going to do what? And when I subtract 55, I end up with negative 40, thank you. And then we set it equal to zero. And now what are we gonna do? We're gonna do what? Factor. So how do I get 2w squared? Come on, guys. Now what? Five where? Five on the left. Eight on the right. Negative eight, Negative eight, positive five. Perfect. So now we set things equal to zero. Two W plus five equals zero. W minus eight equals zero. So this is W equals what? Negative five over two and W equals, is it possible for the width to be negative? No, so this is called an extraneous solution. So if the width is eight, all right, we need to answer the, we have to answer the question. It says, find the dimensions of the new rectangle. So these are the dimensions. So what does W equal? Eight. So what are the dimensions of the rectangle going to be? Say it again. Because how did you get that? Is what? 11. So 11 meters by what? Why eight? Someone help him. 11 meters by what? by five meters. We plugged eight into here because we're interested in the new one. 11 meters by five meters. They could have said, what's the original? The original would have been what? 16 by what? So I always try to tell kids, you just have to answer the right question. What? I can't hear you. What's W? What does W equal? So are we having trouble with eight times two minus five? Does that make sense now? All right. Again, that was tricky guys. If you can do that, you're in pretty good shape. All right, moving forward now, guys. Flip the page. All right, we've got work to do. All right. I want everybody to set up 16. All right. Give you one minute to set it up. I'm setting my timer right now. And then once you've got it set up, you can try to start solving it. All right, guys, someone, the sum of two numbers is 25. Brooke, tell me. You are amazing. X plus Y equals 25. So far, so good. I like it. 
All right. Now the second equation, go ahead. Wow, x squared plus y squared equals 313. That is perfect. All right, x squared plus y squared equals 313. Now, we have a little bit of problem. All right, it's a system of equations. We've already done something like this. So if you forgot, you can look back in your previous notes and you can say, we solved this for y. So when I solve that for y, what does y equal? Yes, y equals 25 minus x. And then what do I do with this 25 minus x? You plug it in for y. This is homework, all right? Finish this up for homework, number 16. All right, what? So that was on the test, test and I'm not accepting guessing and checking, you're right. Okay. All yes. right, exact, guessing and checking is not helpful. All right. Okay, set up number 17. Again, you got one minute to try to set it up. See how you're doing. And if you don't know, you can refer back. 